are going to be reading a really fun Shabbat book. The title of the book is Way Too Much Challah Dough. The author writes the words of the story. The author of this book is Goldie Shulman, and the illustrator draws the pictures. The illustrator is Vitali Romenko. Hi there, I'm Mindy. Guess why I'm excited? I'm baking challah. It's the first time I've tried it. How do I start? What to mix? How to measure? I called up my bubby, who answered with pleasure. In a bowl of warm water, mix lots of fresh yeast. Add sugar and salt, half the flour at least. Put in oil and eggs, more flour than need. If you knead for 10 minutes, you'll surely succeed. Just follow each step and it doesn't take long. Just follow directions and you won't go wrong. Thanks, Bobby, I said. That sounds really good. I hope that my challah comes out as it should. So I did what she said, and wouldn't you know, in no time I made a bowl full of dough. Baking challah was fun. Anybody could do it. I thought it was hard, but there's nothing much to it. Just then the phone rang, so what could I do? My hands full of dough were as sticky as glue. I washed them so quickly to get off that stuff. I scrubbed and I rubbed, but not fast enough. So back to the dough. It was still kind of lumpy. The dough hadn't changed. It was sticky and bumpy. I looked in the bowl and I started to doubt, had I done this correctly or left the yeast out? Without yeast, a challah dough simply won't grow. So I added some yeast right into the dough. Right then I heard ringing, the doorbell was chiming. Just look at my fingers, what terrible timing. I knew it must be the delivery man. When I got there, he'd already left in his van. So back to the dough, but then I forgot. Did I add all the yeast? Perhaps I had not. Well, that's easy to fix. We have plenty of yeast. I guess it can't hurt if the yeast is increased. Then I, then I needed that dough, just like Bubby had said, till my shoulders were sore and my face was all red. It was time for a break. I stared down at the dough and tried to tell if it had started to grow. I watched as it lay in the bowl like a blob. Maybe this yeast wasn't doing its job. So I added some more of the yeast just in case, hoping that this would help speed up the pace. Would that dough ever rise? Well, I'd sure done my best. Now I had to lay down for a 10 minute rest. And while I was resting and without my knowing, the challah dough in that bowl just started growing. The bowl I had picked for its very large size overflowed with fresh dough that continued to rise. I took out a much bigger bowl for the dough, so it would have more than enough room to grow. Oh no, I cried out, it's reaching the top. I could see that the dough wasn't ready to stop. I emptied the huge bowl right into the sink. That's got to be just the right size, don't you think? But that dough kept on rising each second, each minute. I must have put way too much extra yeast in it. The sink was too small, I had no time to lose. The toy box was bigger, so that's what I'd use. I cleaned out the toys from the box in a wink and plopped in the dough that I dragged from the sink. The toy box was big, it had plenty of space. At last I had thought of the most perfect place. But a few moments later, I saw I was wrong. The dough was still growing, I didn't have long. In shock, I sat down on a three-legged stool and that's when I spotted my old kiddie pool. I tugged at the dough and I got it all in, but it rose even higher right up to my chin. Dough covered the couch, it rose up the wall. I had to get help, so I made a quick call. Bubby, please come, I said into the phone. I don't think I can handle this dough on my own. Bubby came in three minutes. She looked all around. Dough had, dough had oozed out the door to the porch to the ground. Did you follow directions? Oh, Bubby, I tried, but I put too much yeast in my challah, I cried. With her apron in place and a large metal tray, Bubby walked towards the house and told me to stay. How could she fix this? What would she do? I wanted to go in the house with her too. But I followed directions and stayed in the yard. I wondered and waited and boy, was that hard. As the seconds ticked by, all the dough cleared away, and suddenly Bubby appeared with her tray. She held out her two halot, both perfectly braided. She looked at me calmly, her smile never faded. Baking challah, she said, doesn't have to take long. Just follow directions and you won't go wrong. I stretch out my hands, what a lovely surprise. Then all of a sudden, I open my eyes. 
The dough in my bowl had grown over the top. That's as far as it got, just that far and it stopped. My 10 minute nap had stretched on for an hour. I slept in my apron all covered with flour. And it all felt so real, at least that's how it seemed. But the runaway dough was just something I dreamed. I stood up and took kala out of my dough, a small piece to burn for the mitzvah, you know. Bubby's coming for Shabbat and proudly displayed will be my special challot, completely homemade. Shabbat shalom.